Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install R Studio. In the last video we installed R and you could develop a bunch of things in R. You could write your whole program in just R, but it becomes cumbersome because you're going to have many times you're going to have a lot of files and you're going to have a lot of plots and you're going to have a lot of different data feeding into your program and it just becomes very hard to handle. What our studio does, it is, it is an environment where you can look at you look at your files and look at the plots and look at all your data all in one place. It's called an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment, and let's download it. And you should download it if you're going to use R because it's going to make your life a lot easier. So go to rstudio.com and you'll come to a page like this and click Download Now. And then it's going to ask you. You, if you want to run R on your desktop or do you want to run R on a Linux server and we want it on our desktop so click R for your desktop then you'll come to this page it'll say it recommends something for your system I'm gonna click this because I'm on Windows just the one it, rec it recommended it's gonna open up this box you want to save a file and I'm in Firefox right now so you can see it's uh, saving it By the way, R Studio is totally free. You don't have to pay for anything. Just like R is free, R Studio is just um, something that a few people made to make your life easier. So you should download it. So now um, I'm going to open up this file that was just downloaded. You want to click on the executable file and you want to run the file so click yes there now here's the setup for our studio just do the default setup so just basically click next it's gonna put the application in your program files right there click next again uh, click install so it's installing the great thing about R is that it's totally free, so you can do really professional, really sophisticated analysis all for free. You, you could use MATLAB for a bunch of the, the stuff you might do in R or Mathematica, but those are costly um, and you have to buy licenses and things like that. So. Okay, so our studio is just finished. I'm going to click the finish button. I'll just minimize this. And I'm in Windows 8. So if I scroll over, ah, you probably couldn't see that. Um, what I'm going to do is go here and go to my C drive and go into program files and here's our studio and oops here in my program files in the R Studio folder in the bin folder you have this application file with a little icon for R Studio I'm just going to um, send that to my desktop so I'm going to do send to desktop with a desktop shortcut and now here is R Studio so if I double click it I have our studio and in well here it is well in the next lesson I'll show you 
I'll talk about what this what these windows are and how we can start using this uh, for some of our, our programs but you can already you can already see that this looks like pr something pretty sophisticated um, you have a lot of windows you can flip through it but we'll go through it in the videos but this is a very powerful IDE and we're gonna use it so and you should use it too if you're using R. it's gonna make your life easier